How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Crypto Takeover Channel. We're going to be going over the Bitcoin charts again today. So if y'all are brand new to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that we all can be updated every single day that I make a video. Uh, so if y'all are brand new to this channel, we use the Market Cipher Indicator by CryptoFace as well. Y'all can check the links down in the description box below if y'all are interested. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna take a look at our 15 minute and then work our way up from here. That's just kind of how I like to do things here on the channel. So you can see that we are currently getting some nice little uh, Darth Maul wicks back and forth. We had a big kind of drop off uh, that kind of sent us out of our uh, triangle pattern here uh, over the morning time. We dipped down to about 7,100, um, but immediately got bought back up there. Um, and now we're currently testing about 7,300 ish area right now. So, uh, when our daily opened, it did look like the bears wanted to take control of the market, um, having a little bit of a back and forth movement, but the bears uh, did have a nice little sell off here, probably to, uh, get some liquidity back into the market on some of these exchanges from our big run up that we had to about 7,500. Um, but as you can see now, uh, we are currently trending above our VWAP, looking like the bears do want to take control of the market. I mean, the bulls want to take control of the market right now. Uh, you can see that our, our uh, Cypher B indicator has uh, been a little choppy right now on some of our lower time frames. And as we start to move up to the higher time frames, we can maybe see exactly what's uh, where we can maybe expect market to move to um, and be in position or be ready. So if y'all are interested, uh, I do have a uh, Patreon page that y'all can join. And inside that Patreon page, uh, we get access to my private Discord channel uh, where my trading group and my trading team are on there. And we uh, like to share our ins and outs of the market. So uh, mainly y'all can get my ins and outs of the market as well. And also a little bit of um, learning for a lot of newer people out there. So if y'all are interested, go ahead and get signed up. There is an April special going on right now, um, $40 for the month. And that will be your locked in price. Uh, so uh, by the end of April, prices will go back up. So go ahead and get signed up now. So that way you can make sure to um, get that deal for the month of April and on forward. Uh, and then if y'all do just want to help support the channel and not sign up for Patreon, that's fine. Uh, y'all can get signed up for the newsletter and y'all will get access to my private videos that sometimes I give my, uh, Patreon members as well, but it'll be like, you know, a couple of weeks out until I get those to y'all. So feel free to support the channel. And if anything happens, you know, uh, where we need to move to a different platform or something, y'all can be updated through my newsletter as well. So we're looking at the 30 minute time frame right now. You can see that we are putting in somewhat of a trend reversal here with the blue uh, a triangle here on a Cypher A as well. Did look like we did want to get kind of a death cross, but we got a nice little bump back to the upside here on the 30 minute time frame. 45 minutes still looking pretty healthy as well too. Uh, have a nice little buy signal that hasn't quite confirmed just yet, um, but maybe here in a little while could confirm. Looks like in about four minutes, we'll have our new hourly uh, can or 45 minute candle open as well. You can see here that our money flows been kind of trending down to the downside here as well too. Um, and then we did have it into our uh, red area just a tad bit. So kind of getting some choppiness right now. Uh, you can see that our blue waves are getting a little bit tighter here, um, indicating that maybe a, probably a big break is coming relatively soon. So we just need to be ready for whatever direction that may be in as well. You can kind of see here that we are putting in somewhat of a uh, um, bottom formation, uh, maybe a nice little trend line down here. Uh, but, you know, we'll have to figure out. I, I, I drew this trend line out a couple of days ago, and this is kind of where I'm, I'm predicting of we'll, we'll get maybe a little bit of a squeeze here um, and then determine uh, what's going to happen. So yeah, on our one hour, uh, we've still been kind of trending down on our money flow as well. Uh, you know, getting a little bit tighter here with our blue waves um, also. And then as we move into our two hour, we can also see that still trying to just hold, uh, you know, snug on this uh, EMA here. So, uh, you know, you can tell that when our when we get above this EMA and we start to trend above it, um, that's a good indication that we are ready for a little bit of a bull run. So. <clears throat> 
our two hour uh, still money flows in green right now too over here but uh, we just got to be cautious we did have a little blood diamond back here that signaled that little drop off that we had um, to that 7100 area so hopefully everyone's doing okay right now uh, let's see so we have a green dot here as well a little bit of choppiness maybe some squeeze happening here as as well indicating what side we want to come out of this on uh, four hour looks like we're hugging this EMA here as well too you can see that we did have a sell signal back here maybe that was our sell and there uh, we'll have to just take a take a uh, it'll, it'll be a little while until we kind of figure out exactly what's going to happen here um, but nice Darth Maul wicks usually there are Darth Maul wicks before a bigger move so <clears throat> and that's mainly just to get liquidity back into the market I know right here we kind of got this little Darth Maul action happening as well right here so the, that happens when everything just gets toppy, uh, choppy on a lot of these I could not talk today <laughs> sorry choppy on a lot of these time frames so when things start getting really choppy, that's when you start to see these uh, Darth Maul wicks. And mainly it's just when time frames don't line up properly, that's uh, when you start to see these Darth Maul wicks happen. So I'll turn off Cypher SR, kind of get a clearer picture here without too much noise. Um, I used to use a lot more EMAs. I've noticed myself, I kind of just don't use that many EMAs anymore, to be honest. So um, I'll just kind of keep it relatively clean on the charts. Um, uh, that's just uh, my perspective on it. Uh, I see some of these charts with just so many uh, trend lines drawn out. It's just it's really hard to figure out what's happening, you know, sometimes. So keeping it relatively simple for the most part uh, and just going with that. So I, I would say that if we start to trend down below this uh, EMA here, which is at about 72.50, 72.50, then um, that's or if, maybe even if we close below 72.50 here on our four hour, which will probably close within the next hour or two. Uh, that's going to be a probably a bearish indication for us uh, that we just need to take into consideration. So definitely something to look forward to. Um, we can see here that on our six hour, um, some relative choppiness with our money flow happening. Uh, our blue wave also having a nice little sell signal here. Uh, blue wave is kind of trending down to the bottom side. So what we just really want to see is whether or not we can hold these support lines uh, or these support EMAs, I guess you could say. So that will be the predicament that we need to establish um, going on into this these next few days to consider whether or not we will have a breakout or not. This EMA here at about 7,100. So you can see that we've really been trending up above uh, these trend lines here on our eight hour I mean uh, these EMAs on our eight hour too as well we got the bullish cross there now we're just kind of probably kind of consolidate out to the side so I mean we did break pretty strong trend line support we wicked through it uh, and that's you know it's hearsay there say but uh, it's just something we got to consider that uh, we did kind of wick through it and uh, it could be a possible break later on too I know a lot of people were calling this an ascending uh, channel here, uh, which usually is they like to break bearish. Um, so we are going to have a decision point very soon on that to see whether or not we head to the up, to the downside or the bottom side too. So moving into our 12 hour here, 12 hour kind of finding support here above the 100. But um, I would say if we get this bullish cross here, it's a good indication that we'll probably continue to the upside. But uh, it looks like it's going to have to play out for a little bit longer to see what's going to happen there. No sell signal just quite yet. But uh, yeah, very interesting stuff right now. So I'm going to be probably monitoring this for the most part for my trading group. Um, here in the next couple of hours, I would imagine that we'll get a confirmed decision where to take this and uh, go based on that on top of that so like I said if y'all do want to sign up and join our trading group um, first link down in the description box and then y'all can just join the discord server it's free to join um, just chat with us in there I have a few different um, chat chat channels in there that we can just talk about whatever uh, new stuff altcoin stuff whatever y'all want to chat about <clears throat> So join us there. And then also the Telegram channel is free to join. I just really just give um, announcements and updates on the Telegram channel. Um, I do polls on the Telegram channel too as well, which I'll like to see on, on uh, Crypto Takeover. 
So check us out on there. If y'all do want to sign up for a new trading view plan, uh, I use the premium plan, but if anything, if you are using Marcus Cipher, I would at least suggest having the Pro Plus plan that allows you to have a few more indicators on the screen, such as the whales buy sell signal and the Aldo EMAs, which are both custom signals. And I tell y'all how to get those set up inside of the Patreon page as well. I'm currently working on a trading bot right now with three commas. <clears throat> So if y'all are interested in checking out the three commas bot, uh, y'all need to be signed up for the Patreon page. But if y'all just want to, you know, mess around with three commas, y'all are welcome to. There's links in the description box if you want to help support the channel as well. And then Ledger, uh, if y'all just want to buy and hodl, then check out Ledger Nano S or X. Um, pretty cool devices. I went over a little rant yesterday on them, but um, no, they're, they're good devices. Uh, just you know, make sure you know what you're doing when it comes to uh, you know having your, your keys stored, knowing what a seed phrase is, how a seed phrase is basically just a cryptic um, phrase on top of a, uh, you know, I think it's like 34, I forget what the actual number is. Um, man, I have it here too, I thought. Uh, Yeah, I can't remember, but there's like a, a program that I, I don't know, I'll have to look for it. Um, basically, the seed phrase is uh, another phrase on top of your private keys, so it's very interesting stuff there. But yeah, so let's check out our one day, see what's happening here. You can currently see that we're still getting this, you know, squeeze in between our two EMAs here. I mean, 6,800, if we, if we drop down to 6,800, uh, you know, it's still going to be kind of hearsay, there say, because um, I would say that we still have chance to even make a little bit more of a run up, uh, if anything. So, but we always want to um, have our proper risk mitigation, right? Um, and, you know, our top... EMA here on our one day is sitting at about 7,700. We'd really have to have strong, uh, have to have strong, uh, you know, volume to break through that as well too. Um, but I know a lot of people are anticipating maybe a downwards movement here. So we just need to be extra cautious on this um, and be ready for whatever may take place. Uh, we can see here we're still getting some choppiness. Uh, maybe putting in a red dot up here on our one day as well but then once we get into our two day uh we still have some nice movement to the upside so i man this is this is really just going to be a very choppy uh next few days um to consider uh what could possibly happen i mean we there could be a drop to uh 6900 or even lower um, maybe 6800 <clears throat> within the next couple of days going on into the weekend i would say going into the weekend we'll probably have a break and uh and whether it's to the upside or downside we'll probably have a gap and then it's the gap's going to have to be filled within the next couple you know within the next day or within monday or something like that so we're really struggling with the 7300 area right now um you know and i i would say let's give it a few hours to see what's going to happen here uh with the 7300 um whether or not we decide to start trending above it or below it and then decide what you know we need to do um, in taking position there so <clears throat> i'm keeping my trading group up to date with everything that i have going on monitoring this pretty much hour by hour uh whenever i can get a chance so they're definitely staying up to date with what's going on and what i'm seeing here on the charts as well um, if y'all do want to trade with us, we usually use Bybit, but I do and uh, like for everyone to get informed on how to use Bybit. Um, so use the test net on Bybit. Once you get signed up, just uh, ask support how to uh, access the, chest, the, the test net. And uh, then you can start figuring out exactly how to use uh, Bybit properly and make sure that you know what you're doing. But if you have any questions, just message me on Discord or whatever platform you want to get a hold of me on as well, too. Uh, Brave Browser, be sure to check that out. If y'all are interested in BAT token, you can earn passive income by clicking on ads and then it, they'll pay you out in BAT token at the end of the month. Also, CryptoTab Browser is an easy way to start mining Bitcoin. So check out CryptoTab Browser. Um, fun stuff. Instagram, Twitter, y'all can message me on there if y'all want. 
um, and I'll respond back to y'all. So I look forward to having y'all as a VIP member, as a trading group member. Um, and then with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end this, kind of keep it a short video for the evening. I've been having some issues with my outros getting tagged um, as copyright. I have no idea why, to be honest, but let me go ahead and Oh, I guess I got to turn volume off here on outro. So we're going to go ahead and end it there, y'all. I appreciate y'all coming through to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. CTO signing out.